Hello everybody and uh, welcome to the video tutorial that um, will be helping you with uh, solving vectors or vector operations and we are going to start by talking about what are vectors and then we're going to go into um, solving vectors graphically. Uh, in the next video tutorial we'll discuss uh, solving vectors using their components. So what is a vector? Well, a vector is a quantity that needs both a magnitude, in other words how much, but it also needs a direction. So if I gave you a list of um, things, say uh, the number of students and um, number of students and the uh, time passed past and then um, let's go with la 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 force okay the number of students is a scalar quantity Scalar means it needs no direction. It only needs a magnitude. So, students, number of students is scalar. Time passed is also scalar. Force, however, is a vector quantity. Because if you think about it, force is how much someone pushes or pulls. Ugh, he's really pushing. But force is not only how much, but in what direction. So he's pushing the box this way. So force is a vector quantity. Scalar is an amount. It only needs a magnitude. So for example, speed. Speed is a scalar quantity. Velocity, however, is a vector quantity. Velocity gives you how fast and in what direction. Speed is only how much. So, vectors. They're usually denoted with a little harpoon hook above a letter. So like you have vector A and you could have vector B. And so sometimes what you have to do is you have to add vectors or subtract them or multiply them, so on and so forth. So to do that, we're going to use something that is the head to tail method. Head to tail. So let's go and look at this. Here we've got a little coordinate system and uh, just a simple xy coordinate system. And let's say uh, our red vector here is going to be vector A. And let's say it's, um, it's pointing right along here. Okay. And let's say I, vector B, this is vector B right here. Let's say I need to add vector B. So here's vector A, the red. I'm adding red to green. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start by drawing the first vector. I'm going to draw vector A from the origin out to where it starts. Then I'm going to draw, whoops, not move my whole graph. Then I'm going to draw vector B, but I'm going to start it at the head of A. Head to tail. This is the vector's tail, the arrow is the head. So, head to tail. I draw my first vector coming right out of the origin, and then I draw my next vector, its tail starting at the head of my previous vector. So this would be A plus B. What you're finding is the displacement. In other words, the distance from where I start, I start at the origin, to where I end up, which is at the head of B. So my purple vector, vector C, would be my displacement. 
if I were finding, say, a plus b, and that gives me some vector c. So in this case, the purple vector is vector c. So if you were graphing this, you were drawing it to scale, hopefully. You could measure how long c was. That would give you your magnitude. But then you also need to measure this angle right here. That angle is your direction. And we always want the angle above the x-axis. Okay? So, let's say uh, vector A looks like this. And let's get C out of here. We're not ready for C yet. And let's say vector B looks like this. And I'm doing B plus A now. Well, now I draw B first. I started at the origin, but my graph doesn't want to be at the origin. So let's do that. That's a little better. Oh well. So start it at the origin, or as much as you can. Hopefully you're not working in Microsoft Word. And then I draw vector B, and then I bring vector A over, and I move it to the head of B. I'm doing B plus A. Displacement is distance from where I start to where I finish. B plus A. Now, let's say hypothetically, I needed to do B minus A. Well now, I do the same thing. I draw B and I draw positive A. Negative vectors have the same magnitude but opposite direction. So I would draw A and then I would draw negative A coming back in the opposite direction. Now my displacement is here. Now the purple vector is B minus A. This vector over here, ah, stop it. Let's change it to, oh, let's change it to orange. The orange vector is B plus A. The purple vector is B minus A. Notice how I've reversed the direction of A, but I've kept the magnitude pretty close to the same. So, graphing vectors. So important that you go head to tail. It is also important that you scale your drawings. Some vectors might be given to you as uh, 350 meters at 330 degrees. Well, if I draw a coordinate system, I'm not going to be able to fit 350 meters on my graph. So what I would do in this case is I would make 100 meters equal to 1 centimeter. That way over here I can just draw three and a half centimeters at an angle of 330 degrees. So that is a uh, very quick and very brief overview of graphing vectors. Practice, practice, practice the homework that I've assigned you and um, be sure and draw to scale and try and be as accurate as possible.